calibration. Your AXM201 needs to be calibrated before you use it for the first time. We recommend you calibrate your unit on a weighbridge in order to get the tear weight values of your vehicle. If you already know this, you won't need a weighbridge. In order to get an accurate reading, follow these instructions. Keep the engine running to provide air to the suspension system. Park the vehicle on level ground. Release the vehicle brakes. If the trailer is attached, release the trailer brakes. Exhaust the air from the suspension and reinflate the airbag suspension to correct the ride height. You'll know you have an accurate calibration when the weight shown on the AXM201 unit is the same as the Weybridge value. Consider a 0.2 percentage of margin of error between values. Setting tear weight, low value. The truck must be empty on a flat, horizontal surface or a Weybridge. Check that the AXM201 display is on. If your AXM201 is connected to the vehicle's parking lights, switch the parking light on, which will automatically turn on the AXM201 axle load indicator. We're going to run through the low calibration now. So you open up the box. To start the low calibration, press the P button for three seconds to get DECPT to come up. Once it comes up, Keep pressing the P button until you get to low. Press it once more. Now we adjust the value to the value of the weight bridge. In this case, it was 11,750. Once the value is the same as the weight bridge, you store that by pressing the red enter button, then high will come up. There is not much more you can do until you're loaded. So press the silver button to exit the program mode. Setting max weight, high value. Make sure you have a weigh bridge for this step. Load the vehicle to its maximum load capacity. For the maximum load capacity of your vehicle, check the vehicles or trailers manual for maximum weight capacity values. With your truck loaded, we can go and do the high calibration once you've got the weight from the weigh bridge. So once again, we need to get into the program mode by pressing the P button for three seconds. It will come up with DECPT mode. So keep pressing the P button until you get to high. Press it once more and it will show a value. In this case, the weigh bridge was saying 23,630. Once that is the same as the weigh bridge, press the red enter button to store the value. There's not much more you can do now for the calibration. So to exit the program mode, press the silver button on the side. If you get an error one on your gauge, probably you accidentally stored the high and the low with the same pressure value. To clear this error, you have to repeat the calibration procedure. Let's do the calibration on a dog trailer. The gauge has two channels, one for the front axle and one for the back axle. Press the silver button and you'll get channel one value for the front. Press it again and you get channel two for the back axle. Press it again and you will get the total. So to calibrate the low, you need to press the P button for three seconds. Chan will come up, press the P button again. We're doing the channel one, which is the front axle group. Keep pressing the P button until you get to low. Press P once more, there will be a value there. We need to match this up to the value of the weigh bridge, which is 5,920. Once that matches the same as your weigh bridge value, Store the value by pressing the red arrow button. Once stored, press the silver button at the side to exit the program mode. We have to repeat the steps to do channel two, which is the back axle group. Press and hold the P button for three seconds. Chan will come up, press the P button again, and it will show you channel one. Use the plus button to change that to channel two for the back axle. Keep pressing the P button until you get to low, and once low is there, press the P button once more to adjust it to the value of the weigh bridge, which in this case is 4,650. Once the value equals the same as the weigh bridge, store the value by pressing the red arrow button and high will come up. Press the silver button to exit the program mode. If you press the silver button again to see channel one with the same value as the weigh bridge, you can press it once more to see channel two 
and the value will be the same as the weighbridge. Press it again to see the total of the combination of the dog trailer. When you are loaded and can take spec of your weights, we can go and do the calibration of the high values. Once again, channel 1 is for the front axle group, so to get into the program mode, press the P button for 3 seconds. Channel will come up. Keep pressing the P button until you get to high. Press it once more and you get a value there. You need to marry up that value to what the value of the weighbridge is. In this case, it was 21,460. Once the value is the same as the value of the weighbridge, store it by pressing the red enter button. It will come up with alarm one. Press the silver button to exit the program mode. Now to do channel two. The same procedure again. Press and hold the P button again for three seconds until channel comes up. Press the P button again, and we need to change that to channel two to change it to the back axle. Keep pressing the P button until you get to high. And now we need to adjust this value to make it the same as the weighbridge. In this case, it was 21,700. Once that equals the same as the weighbridge, press the store button. It will come up with alarm one. To exit the program mode, press the silver button on the side. It will come up with channel one for your front axle group. Press the button again, channel two for the back axle group and press it again for the total for the combination of the dog trailer.